G'day everyone, Hobbit81 here and welcome back to Hobbit Gaming with another episode of Astroneer. Really loving this game at the moment, also I just wanted to say happy Pride Month to everyone. Yay! A little bit late for the party as always, but you know, I get there eventually. Um, also I worked out what the busy unlock I got last time was, it's a, it's a remote, oop, right near the edge, oop, that's pretty dangerous, that seems appropriate for me. Uh, last time we unlocked this bad boy here. Oh, that's a pretty good name. Uh, the VTOL. I've been experimenting with a few things, as you may notice. And I'm trying to work out ways to power the portals. The gateway portals, I believe is the official name. And this is my current solution. I have enough packages with this platform. And I should be able to just put this whole thing on that platform and then use it to power the, the portals. But, the question is, are we going to do that today? Well. There's a few things I wanted to do, so I thought we might try something a little bit different. We have a spinning wheel here, and hopefully this is recording properly, it looks like it is. We have several things, we have um, cleaning up the base, uh, finding snails, trains on Glacio, unlocking gateway portals on silver, so that's the planet we're on now, um, and collecting snails. And I thought, um, the thing is, I can't decide, and I keep saying at the start of each episode, hey, we should do this and we should do that, let's actually let this decide. I click the spin. All right. And today we are going to be starting with unlocking gateway portals. Well, that's just appropriate now, isn't it? Uh, so we can actually, I like that. We can remove that now and go back to the game and seeing as we're already here, let's see what we need. Mm. Also, we have this stuff here. It's from the, um, Halloween event from, from last year now, and I wonder if this actually works as a fuel for my backpack or not. I don't think it does, but I thought I'd leave it in here and see when this one runs out, does it use that instead? Before we go, we should just get a couple of quick things. We'll grab an extra hydrazine in case that doesn't work, but I want to put it on here. Oh, look at that. I already thought of that. Come on. One for the VTOL and one for me. Um, left a little bit of petrol, petrol, <laughs> bit of fuel left there. I'm probably not going to need my analyzer. And what do we have here? Wide and drill. Worth keeping. Let's just put that one on here. That is a storage sensor because I was playing around with the uh, stuff to see if it was uh, still active. And yeah, I can still grow the squash. So I was uh, growing some and it's actually giving me some nice passive uh, income at the moment on the, on the bites. Hey, apparently F takes off? Why is it oh, sideways? I actually want to know why that packager fell off. F to exit. There we go. I'm alright. I know what buttons do. Right, so the plan is, Compass, we want to visit the other gateway portals. And I think that is what uh, signifies the next closest one. So. Let's head that way, basically due north, more or less. Alright, turn that off. down. Alright, so here's my plan. Um, if I take these off for a moment, you can also just sort of place these sort of uh, oddly like, I can just go, yeah, place it on there. Oh, it went underneath or something, but sure. Uh, I also worked out that you probably can package up the whole vehicle, everything will jump off it if you do that. So if I grab this packager, my backpack, this platform, And I don't think I've ever actually unlocked in any of my other playthroughs actually all of the portals in one planet. So we do that and that. And then we just need to grab our little tower here. This is probably way too much power, by the way. And just fly with this. It's just ridiculous. Uh, dear. This game is just so much fun. 
All right, put that down, and that should just do it. I used to think you had to plug in one to each of the locations. Then I saw someone else do a video, I'm like, oh, well that's good to know. So it's draining the batteries, which is fine, because the little QT RTGs will then refill it again. Very nice. All right, so now we can pop that back onto the VTOL. And I'm sure there's another way that doesn't involve me running into walls. Uh, doesn't involve having to package this up. But you know what, this will do for now. We can put the packager back on. Package it up. And just need to sort the rest of this out. We have space on here. I'll have to do this properly. Good. Ah, heck, just put that on there. Right, go and push the button. And the thing I'm not going to remember is which one's which. So this, I think, is where I am now. South. Um, equator 3. South. Let's just go to Equator 3 for a moment. Uh, can I not? I think. Maybe that's where I am. So maybe that's the uh, equator three. Let's go to south. Well, wait, wait, wait! Does reset that? And that brings us back to base. Yes. All right. So I actually think this is going to be really useful for when we make the train network because you'll be able to take a whole lot of bundles, go to a different node, and set that up. That is definitely, definitely something we are still going to be doing. to the next one. Okay, I think that's my base, so let's head west. Also, I uh, picked a new um, outfit for my dude as well. Um, which one is it? Uh, I think it's the cadet suit. Yeah, I quite like the helmet design and the uh, the shape of it. Um, definitely some other ones to unlock here. I think some of them you unlock by actually doing what we're doing now. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh no, that one's a bit precariously placed, isn't it? There are a couple up there. There are a few other things I'm really interested to do in this game. Um, I've seen that if you load a new game and you can find just one of these on top of a mountain, um, it's a great way to do a thing called True Flat, where you take one of these locations and you make it flat from there, and you can have a really nice flat base. And it really, you don't have to do the, um, the spawn with the extra high um, portal things, gateway portals, but it really helps. I thought that would be cool, do an actual, maybe even a, a creative game would be good, um, do a creative base build, and then that way you could, um, I've seen people do some really cool things with True Flat, like making really cool walls and buildings and stuff, and that would be cool. Uh, I have to show you, when we go back to the base again, I've been laying out some pathways, so when we do do the rails at, um, our base here on silver and I've got some paths that it might go part of the um, automation stuff or you know base cleanup is going to be improving automation yeah, and before you activate the thing move anything out because I had an idea once wow what if I could take things with me wouldn't that be cool and all the stuff just sort of gets flippity gibbeted all over the place not good 
right, plug you in. And we need to package you up. I'd love to know, let me know in the comments, if there is a better way that you guys use for doing this. And actually, now's a good time to do the thing that I always forget to do, which is to ask for you guys to like, share, subscribe, and all that kind of jazz. Do I have to actually travel? I don't know, I think that's now activated. I don't think I actually need to travel from it. While I'm here, why not? No, oh, it's only worth 39, maybe that's why not. Alright, on to the next. This one's worth spending a package on. I can always teleport home and get uh, more. Also, my fuel's about to run out. Let's actually try this. Will it use the squash as fuel after this one? Okay, it's just run out. And no, that does not work as fuel for that. That's a pity. That'd be interesting to have a process where you could convert that into uh, something or maybe a less, less efficient jetpack. Ooh, that was a rough menu. Right, let's uh, do this one. Maybe go ahead and get a couple more packages. Packages, packages. Oh, I thought I had a few, aren't I? Derp. Let's grab Oop. Did I pour something in? No, it's not good. Can I grab it? Oh look at that. Pro Ashton Euro right here, guys. Ah! Perfect. Completely professional and uh, not. Uh, uh, um, I've done a mistake. Hopefully, when it. Um, <laughs> hopefully, when it activates, I can get out of here. Oh, wait. I think I made it out. Alright. Okay, note to self don't do that again. Very cool. How many are left now? Um, looks like two more. Let's travel home for a moment. Like I said, I will just take this off first. So I think I'm down to my last packager. Two more. Actually, that'd be just enough. Almost like I planned this. That looks like some of my stuff. I still must say I very much do like the uh, sound that it makes when you get off the veto and stop it. It's very uh, Star Wars. -y. I did not park close enough.
Another thing that I would be interested to try is what happens if you dig straight down at one of these? Because I believe these actually physically connect to the core of the world. So that would be interesting too. Alright, last one. Sorry. Yeah, this would be a nice one to have actually back at base. I do have one down um, near where this now research center is. Um, to have one of these landing pads would be great for the VTOLs. You can also land your spaceships on them. I've got ideas for that as well. Uh, needs fuel, yes. Well, can I. Will it take it automatically from. Do I have extra fuel? Did it already use it? Oh, okay. Do we have enough to get over there? Let's try. Yeah, I know you need fuel. Can we go just a little bit more? Oof. Crash landing. Alright, keep that in mind for next time. Let's bring a bit more fuel. Right, let's see what this gets us. Bright node space elevator. So can I just go straight there? No, I should have done though before I did that. Uh, I would actually get the little thing you're supposed to take the plug in that you get from the core of the planet. That's prob probably the final step. Oh no, that's not where I thought I was going to. Interesting. Alright, let's see if we can work out how I can get home. East south. Yep, that should be the one for home. We might need to go via a spaceship. <laughs> Where it jumps around. All right. Uh, yes, so we are back where I expected to be. We can do a couple of things here. Let's get some more fuel. We grab two actually, and one for me and one for the blue toll. I want to bring that back home before we do anything else. Let me just think for a second. Bonk. We can go into there. Pardon me. And let me think for a moment again. We want that little shiny thing. We've got two and unlock this one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, which one did I just come from? Dang it. <laughs> I didn't, I really should have checked that. Mm. I read that as elevator, not elevation. Go north. No, this is not the right one. Well, I've got lots of cool stuff to go and explore, that's for sure. Oh, it's a backpack, but you can't see the backpack. That's that's weird, man. Oh, shiny thing. Have I done one of these before? I don't know. I'm going to grab it, though. Um, 
Yeah, that dude didn't do so good. He really exploded. Alright, so not the north one. Aha. I didn't bring the packages, did I? Ah, uh, well. You can just stay here for now then. Um, which one is it? Did it tell me? It'd be nice if I actually just showed you which one you're at. I think it's this one. Right, so it's number four. Right. Need to fly this bad boy home anyway. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, good sound. I didn't make a sound when you pull it up. That's pity. Pretty good landing pad for it. Do I have the uh, snail's quest marked or something? Is that why this is currently eliminated? Um, well, obviously, there's lots of stuff I haven't done here yet. Yes. Um, quests. Just some logs. I still need to claim those rail cards, um, rail junctions. I'm going to do it on Glacio. Done that one. That's worth uh, collecting. Beauty RTG and a medium shuttle. How am I going to track at the moment? Hmm. These are definitely the ones we want to do for the for those ones. More logistics stuff. Yeah, we have a whole episode of logistics. Two to three. Not bad. The data along the logistics depot glacier to updates here. Yeah, more stuff in glacier. We're going to do all the train stuff in glacier. Uh, that's fine. All right. You know what? Let's actually leave the VTOL there. This should be like our landing pad for it. And when we finally get everything nice and neat and, and organized, we make this area look nice too. And this can be our the VTOL station. So we do want to utilize all of the transport methods. Forwards. Yeehaw. Yeah, the base is looking pretty good. I reckon we can make it look a lot better. We'll see in a moment. But I have been doing some work around tidying up the base. We need a rail station and we need to reorganize all of the machines here. I've got some ideas. Uh, which I'll share actually because we've got. Um, all these things which get made by the soil centrifuge over here, they could be in the middle uh, in alignment with this one to have the other things come down the sides. And then another setup which is going to be things that are made by the chemistry lab go to a third part and then have a central part as a working station. So I've got some ideas. I think we are good to go quickly to the thing in space. I don't know if we've been to yet, actually, in this game. Take this monstrosity. I could take the smaller ship, couldn't I? Uh, no, nah, maybe we'll set that up for another time. Don't mind the TNT on the outside. So there is this little place here, unidentified satellite. Cool. I don't know why they move the ability to move around while you're flying. Um, multiple landing points. Nice. Ooh, 
that is actually not. Do I need to access it from the center of the planet instead? Oh, that's just a wall there. Ah, so you don't fall off into space. All right, you know what? Fair. And that is good. This goes here. something else or is that it for now? We're standing here. Mm. Do I activate you? Or do I just need to collect more? We just need to collect more. I'm guessing each one of those represents the different planets. Hmm, I thought there would be something else. Let me just quickly check the log, which I always misread as you guys know. Something out there. Investigate. Yep. I thought I got something for unlocking all the things on the home world. I guess not. Oh well. That's still cool though. Obviously we're going to need to do this for all the planets. Can I not fly here? That's interesting too. Right, so just to uh, have to, oh well, just to uh, save having to show all that footage, basically I've worked out that if you travel to the core of this planet, you can travel up to the satellite, um, and then from the core back up to here, so there's an easy way to get to the satellite and back from each planet once you unlock all the gates. Although I don't know if you do need to unlock them all, so that's going to be a test for the next planet we do, which we might as well do on um, Glacio. And maybe for that planet, we'll have to unlock them all by using the train. That would be quite challenging, actually. You need to set up a pretty big rail network, so I might have to have a think about that. Hmm. Ah, yeah, so I do want to go over some other things I've been doing. As you can see, I've made the floor all one color in this area, part of the base. What we have over here is my collection of colors. And what you do is you pick the color you want. Uh, put it on your gun. And the best way to do it is with the terrain thingy magiba. That's the inhibitor. And I did not put it here because I am not as smart as I thought I was. Once again, things need to get organized. Let's see. Where did I put the train thingy magiba? Don't know. Doesn't matter. Basically, when you have that on and you then use your gun, um, 
because it would make it all the same colour. But uh, you need to have the inhibitor as well, I think. So if I make it up, it's like it does come up as only that colour. But with the inhibitor, you can actually just like recolour the ground. Now I did a bit of that. So I made all the ground around here. Um, well, not all of it, most of it, most similar. And I was also thinking, I want to put a rail line behind all of this stuff and have it circle the base and actually go around behind here. So there would be a train station over here, I think, would be cool. And then I can offload things from the shuttle that I bring home from missions or we set it up at the other base. I still shouldn't decide. I might have to put some pen to paper first and decide what I want everything to look like. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing that as well. And it is part of the uh, making things look nice. And I should have didn't mention it, but you might have noticed, I recolored all this little section here. It looks cool. For some reason, my tethers aren't connected. It's not that I need them, but it looks cool. So I'm going to have to fix that. I think that's about enough for today. I'm obviously going to have to do some uh, speeding up of that footage because that was a, a lot of flying around. Definitely do like the VTOL. It's a good little vehicle. And um, be using it more, but also our beloved train. I could potentially make a platform that the VTOL could sit on on the train, maybe. Hmm. Also things to consider. So many things. I love this game. And I think next time we'll spin the wheel again and see which of the activities we'll be doing. And until then, and as always, thanks everyone for watching, and remember, it's not dangerous, and you can do it. See you.